Yo, what's going on guys? In this video, I'm going to be showing you how to set up your own cluster server in Ark Survival Evolved on the PS4. So stay tuned. It's been a cold winter and it's lasted far too long. If you want to host your own Ark server, then I recommend renting one from Nitrado. They're also the official server provider for Wildcard. Go to jcartarray.com forward slash Nitrado to rent your own ARC server and help out the channel in the process. Yo, what's going on guys? I'm jcartarray from the Cartaray Cartel server and setting up a cluster server using Nitrado is pretty straightforward. Now, I am currently in game to show you guys that this cluster server is set up and actually working. Let's quickly show you how it looks over here. So as you go to the ob, or a transmitter or a drop it will say travel to another server and if we go up there and type in cart ray we should see our aberration server pop up and there we go and then we can just join that if we please now i'm not going to join it right now we'll be making a video showing you how to transfer to another server and do all that sort of stuff so that will come later but in this video, I'll show you how to set this up so your players can travel between your servers. So let's show you how to actually set up your cluster server using the Nitrado dashboard. So what you want to do is you want to scroll down and you want to go to cross arc, which is under your settings tab. I'm going to have to blur out my actual ID that I've generated. But when you get to here, you will be able to enable cross arc. So you wanna click that tick. Then you wanna generate a new cluster ID on your main server. And that cluster ID will be in this box above here. And then all you need to do is copy that and go to your other server, obviously after saving it. <laughs> so you wanna copy this. But before you go to your other server, you want to save the changes. You can also edit your restrictions if you want people to be able to download survivors, uh, transfer items, all that sort of stuff. And if you want to allow non aberration dinos on aberration, then you want to click that. So flies can be on aberration and stuff like that. And yeah, you can basically do with this what you want and then save that. I would suggest you do this when the server is stopped and then restart the server. And then after that, after you've saved and you restarted like you've done for every other option that you've changed on your server, you wanna go to your other server. So let's actually navigate to our aberration server right about now. And then when you get to your other server, all you need to do is go to the same cross arc setting. And then you just want to copy over the cluster ID that you had generated on the main server you just want to copy that and paste that right here and then you just want to save that again i suggest you stop your server before making any changes then you want to save and then you can restart and then you'll be able to travel between servers and upload stuff i've also just found out that when you actually set up a cluster set of servers people won't be able to download items from single player now if you have allowed item downloads and that sort of stuff before having a cluster server then people will be able to download things from the single player world so they'll be able to just use admin commands and spawn something in in single player and then download it on your server which is extremely unbalanced you definitely do not want to allow that but once you set up a cluster server that feature is supposed to be terminated that's what i've been told by uh, a contact at nitrado so i hold that to be true i haven't tested it out myself so let me know if that has worked out for you guys or if you've still been able to download things from a single player server but that is how you set up a cluster server i will be making a video on how to you know transfer across unofficial servers and that sort of stuff so be sure to check that out if you have any other questions or any other tutorials that you'd like me to make please leave those down below in the comment section thanks for watching and liking and subscribing i'll see you guys in the next arc survival evolved tutorial do you want to get more players and more exposure on your server if your answer is yes then go to arcps4servers.com right now ArcPS4servers.com is going to be my ARC 
server listing site where you can upload your server info and people can come and view through a list of servers and pick whichever one they want to play on. So enter your email address and you will get an email when the site officially launches and you can be one of the first people to have your server listed on the site. If you're watching this in the future, the site may already be up and you can submit your server information to be added to the list for free. You can also get a promoted spot on the website so you can get even more traffic and players for a monthly fee. Go to arcps4servers.com now and start to build your community. It's been a cold winter and it's lasted far too long So all this warmth I share with you